Oh my god, legendary, please stop. Stop. You're putting out way too much here. We're all, we're all a bit overwhelmed and at the same time a bit spoiled. <laughs> What's up everybody, Duma back, welcome to a brand new video, and yes, there's another Kong Skull Island TV spot here. This one's called Kong Skull Island Extended TV Spot number 10, I love the title, Muto. So I cannot wait to check this out, find out what this title is referring to, it should be awesome. Um, you know, the thing is, they're just putting out, it feels like they're putting out a new, more footage every day, to the point where when we see the movie, it better have a whole lot that we don't yet know, because at this point, it feels like we know everything, and that there's nothing that's going to surprise us. So, uh, I'm going to check out this TV spot, and hopefully it's good, and then uh, of course, because it's a TV spot, we'll break it down in as short of time as possible. This is an island in the South Pacific. There is no map. It's surrounded by a perpetual storm system. Landsat's conducting a survey of the island. We did ask to arm those helicopters. Shouldn't they know why? Oh. Uh, Purely a precaution, Brooks. Well, that was pretty... What else is out there? Oh, there's a lot out there. We need to know everything. Oh, no. No. We want the truth. We hunt massive, unidentified terrestrial organisms. This world never belonged to us. It belongs to them. Kong Skull Island, rated PG-13. Experience it in IMAX March. Nice! Okay, so this TV spot actually has quite a bit to break down. Um, there will be one point when I give a possible spoiler, potential spoiler, so I will warn you when that's coming up. But other than that, let's get into the breakdown, everything that we can take from this TV spot. We start out with Corey Hawkins and John Goodman inside of the bar. Of course, this is when they're trying to convince Tom Hiddleston to go to Kong's, or to go to Kong's Skull Island. They're trying to convince Hiddleston to go to Skull Island with them to join their expedition. So this is more of that scene. Once again, still can't tell what location this takes place in. However, it does look like this whole TV spot seems to be the Corey Hawkins TV spot. It does look like he has his reservations about going here. He doesn't seem to be fully on on board with the mission. Now we find out that, yeah, of course they had the the uh, helicopters armed, and once again, Corey Hawkins is questioning why they had to be armed. We see some really nice shots of the helicopters in formation lining up. That looks awesome. And then there's an amazing shot of Kong walking away from the helicopter crash site. You guys can see the crashed helicopters down at the bottom of the screen. Uh, of course, we're looking through Tom Hiddleston's binoculars. Um, but this is Kong walking away from this helicopter crash, and uh, he has headed off on his own and um, don't know where he's going to go, but he's leaving the site. Now we see Hiddleston looking through the glasses, the um, whatever they're called, binoculars. Potential spoiler warning right here. Here's the time code for when we're done talking about potential spoilers, and I'll see you there if you don't want to know. So, this shot of the boat driving, first of all, what can we talk about that's on the surface level? Well, first off, we see a speedboat driving, and there are... Uh, uh, pterodactyls flying above them so these are the pterodactyls that we saw the toys of already I own the toy of so that's pretty cool however we do find out throughout this TV spot that John C. Riley's character says there are other creatures on this island that they don't know about of course one of these creatures that he's talking about we don't know about it's just that some of us if you're like me you paid really close attention to this stuff and wondered what the heck this was showing off here was some concept art or it's not really concept art it was it's like sketch art it's done by uh, John Goodman's character. It was for an Instagram promo that came out a couple days ago. Now, I was super curious as to what this was up in the top corner here. I was super curious as to what this was because it appears to be some sort of lake monster or river monster attacking this boat, and I didn't think we saw anything to suggest that happening in the trailers. In fact, I just had a conversation with this about my uh, about this with my dad last night, speaking about I didn't know what this was because we had not seen anything to suggest that this was going to happen in the in the movie trailers or 
or the TV spots or the sneak peeks or anything like that. Now here's our first good look, other than that one shot we saw in trailer one, here's our first good look at this boat driving around through the water. Of course, this has to be when this giant monster is going to attack them, this giant lake monster. So I guess this TV spot, if it proved anything, it proved that there is things that on the surface, a lot of people don't know about Kong Skull Island, including this uh, water monster. So, other than that, if you're going to go diving into it like I am, you're going to find this stuff out. However, if you're not going to do that, then I guess there is still a lot to be surprised about in this movie. Then we have a confrontation here with Tom Hiddleston and Corey Hawkins. Hiddleston saying, you got to tell us everything, meaning Corey Hawkins is probably filled in on the majority of the plan. We're going to talk about that at the end of this breakdown. Here's a good shot of Corey Hawkins. Once again, he's... he's He's the main person throughout this promo. Here he is gearing up for war, it seems, in this uh, boneyard where Kong's parents are. Here's Corey Hawkins and Jing Tian. They look pretty sweet. Action shot, kind of. I mean, they're kind of just looking out in the distance. Don't know what they're going to be looking at. It might be connected to that skull crawler scene that we have, we have seen that uh, sneak peek for. Then we get an amazing shot of this skull crawler. It gets set on fire and then smack a soldier through the air with its tail. That is incredible. Corey Hawkins stating that the monsters own the earth they don't so this is really interesting because going back to what i was saying a minute ago he clearly knows more than we were let on he clearly knows more about what's going on here than it seemed so maybe he has a good working knowledge of what's going on on skull island and he's kind of warning them about it um this is of course explains why hiddleston's going to confront him about it and say uh tell us everything we don't know pretty much it's pretty much the same conversation that um sam jackson and john goodman have uh, which is pretty cool parallel. So now we have Corey Hawkins here. He obviously knows more about the situation than he originally said. Then we get a new shot of the giant spider. This is a pretty good shot. This might be another spider, considering the fact that now we know there's going to be multiple giant spiders in this forest. This might be one of the other ones. We get an amazing shot of Kong beating his chest, and then we end the trailer with this shot of Kong grabbing a helicopter and swinging it into another helicopter. That's incredible. So overall, this 10th TV spot was a pretty good one. What do you guys think about it? Do you think they're showing us too much i personally do and um i know a lot of you guys do too so i want to know what all of you guys think tell me down below are they showing us too much are you happy with what we've seen do you think it's still going to be a, a good movie regardless do you think there's a lot more that they're hiding that they just feel confident that you know what this movie's so packed full of secrets that we're going to give out tons of stuff because there's still so much more that's personally what i'm leaning towards is the fact that this movie must have a lot more secrets in it than we realize because if they're going to show us this much Keep in mind, 2014 did not have that much going for it. I mean, it had Brian Cranston, who dies almost instantly, and then Godzilla was hardly in the movie, and the Mutos were the main focus, and the trailers really worked around that, and they made it look like Cranston was the main character hunting Godzilla, and that was what our movie was going to be about. These Kong Skull Island trailers seem to be taking a much more direct approach showing us all that they can because they clearly have a lot more to hide and so that's that's really cool um thank you guys all for watching i hope you enjoyed d-man out